All right, it is saying that I'm live and I'm just adjusting some stuff right here for today's video. You clicked on this video because either you're an established agent, a new agent, or broker owner, team leader, you're looking for some training videos to give your, I'm using some new software today, to give your agents uh, or yourself on listings. That's what this video is all about. The new video series that I'll be doing, this one of course will be the intro, it'll be public, and then to go deeper into it, just reach out to me and we'll discuss that. So let me, I'm just waiting for the computer to show me that I'm live elsewhere. And here we go, make sure I've got audio. Perfect, I've got audio. So, came to today's video to learn the how-tos of listings. How to find listings, how to market listings, and how to close listings. That's what today's video is about. Let me switch this up real quick so that you guys are enjoying it with me. Okay, perfect. There's the cover screen, what I just said. Okay, let's go to the next one. Why should you listen to this guy? What do you say? Why is it this working? Hold on. Uh, okay. Why should you listen to this guy? Okay, let me get this out of the way. Um, first off, I don't claim to know everything. Without God, my wife, and my team, my business would literally suck. It, it really would. Here, let me put this back on here. You need to see my face because I'm telling you the truth. Okay, so... Um, I've managed over 600 closed deals and I've had a part of over 1400 closed deals. Uh, you could check my MLS, you could check my team members. Those are stats straight from the MLS. Today is someday in April. I don't know what day it is. <sighs> I've been at a small mom and pop brokerage. I've been at a large independent brokerage. I've had my own brokerage and I've been at a rheology branch. And of course, as you all know now, I'm at EXP Realty. These are reasons why you should listen to this guy, me, okay? Over the last 15 years, I've also built two duplexes over off of 27th Street, over by Oklahoma City University. That should say Oklahoma City University. I'll fix that later. And then let me move myself out of your way. Another reason you should listen to this guy, because if I can win listings and close listings, you can too. Sellers already want to sell their homes and land, okay? They're just looking for the person that's best for them. That's all they're doing. Let's go to the next slide. All right. What sellers want when they call you? Super simple, okay? And you're thinking, well, how, how the hell do I get them to call me? Don't wait. Don't worry. We're going to go over that. We are going to go over that, okay? What sellers want when they call you? They want your affirmation. They want to know you can sell it. They want to know they got a good house. They want your approval. They're like, yeah, yeah, we can sell this house. And they want your systems. They may not know that, but that is what they really want when they call you. They want your systems. And what are your systems? Well, if you don't have one, you're getting ready to use the one I'm going to show you, okay? <laughs> It's that simple. All right, let's go to the next slide. So how the hell do you find listings? Great question. You got Facebook? You got a friends list? How many friends you got in that friends list? 300, 400, 5,000? I think it cuts you off at 5,000. Well, theoretically, 10% of those people are gonna be doing deals. Well, Josh, half my friends aren't even in Oklahoma. Hey, don't give me don't give me what ifs, okay? We're talking about listings. We're talking about winning listings, marketing listings, closing listings, okay? That's what we're talking about. I don't want to hear negatives. We're going to talk about positives. That's what we're going to talk about. So if half your people don't live in the state that you live or they don't live where you can directly take their listings and do business with them, guess what? You got a real estate license. You can still refer them out. You can still refer them out, okay? So if you've got 
500 friends, 250 aren't in, aren't in the state that you live, don't worry because that leaves you 25 potential deals a year. They may not all be listings. They may be half of them. So that leaves you 12.5 listings. Okay. Who's going to complain about an extra 12.5 listings? I'm not. I'll take it. And that gives you another 12.5 listings in other states that you can refer out because you're the person that people know, like, and trust. That's who you are. The people that you know, like, and trust are going to want to do business with you. That's who they're going to want to do business with. Okay. So, uh, Facebook, Facebook friends list. Okay. That's the first place that you can get listings from. You can get listings from doing on all your posts, putting a little tag in there. And one of my uh, agents that I work with does this and he reminded me of it. He's a great guy. Put a little tag in there wanting to know what your home is worth. Every single one of your listings. And if you're at EXP, EXP gives you KV Core. KV Core gives you a front end website. One of the tabs on the front end website is how much is your home worth? You write the little sentence in every one of your real estate related tags and you put the little www in that sentence and it says find out what your home is worth and then put that www in there that takes them to that web page that's compliant with your company compliant with your state regulations and the people put their info in they put it in on your social media post on your on whatever social media things you use i use youtube and facebook that's all i use that's all i use i've got an instagram account attached to my Facebook business page, but I don't ever get into it. It just automatically does things that it does. Okay. So there's two ways. Your Facebook friends list being top of mind. Your, what did I just say? Oh yeah. The tags, the tags in the, in the little write-ups that you post. Okay. And number three, number three, real easy from your monthly email newsletter. XP Realty has KV Core. KV Core sends out mass emails. You send out a monthly newsletter. Do things buyer related, do things seller related, do things agent related so they can see how you do your job, okay? So those are three easy ways to get listings. How the hell do you find listings? Through Facebook friends, they know, like, and trust you. You're gonna be top of mind. Through little real estate posts that also connects you to your real estate friends, top of mind, referrals, et cetera, et cetera. And then through your monthly email newsletter. Okay. Simple, right? Okay. This is an intro. This is an intro. We're not going to go deep. I'll show you on later videos how to go deep on those. Okay. Seller qualifying questions. I've done videos on that in the past. You can definitely check out my channel for those, but we'll go over them real quick right here on this intro. Seller qualifying questions. These questions set you apart. Okay. If, if a seller is calling agents to sell their house, and they're 60 ish percent of the time they just call one agent, but the other 40% of the time they're interviewing you on that initial phone call. So be professional on it. Ask the right questions. I'm so excited to help you sell your house today. I need to ask you a couple questions so that I could do the homework on the back end to give you a correct market valuation range. First question that I have, Mr. And Mrs. Seller, is have you done any major updates to your home in the last three years? Have you done a new roof, new heat and air? Have you recarpeted all the carpets? Have you remodeled a bathroom or a kitchen? Complete remodel, not just tossed in some new appliances. That that tossing in new appliances is huge. But have you done a full blown remodel? Question number one. Question number two. The tax assessor square footage is going to give me a number on your house. Do you remember when you bought it? If the appraisal square footage measurement matches the tax assessor square footage measurement, if you're in a market where you're talking about $200 a square foot, an extra hundred square feet is 20 grand. Okay. Double check my math on that. Okay. Double check it. 200 times hundred should equal 20 grand. Double check my math on that. Okay. Just a hundred dollar square footage difference. That's a lot. That's a whole lot. I got to get a calculator real quick. I, I just have to, I have to double check my math. Yeah. 20 grand. I was right. Okay. 
I don't know why. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed me double checking my math. Okay, so upgrades, square footage. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, are you thinking about selling the next 30 to 60 days? The process to get your home listed takes one to two weeks, depending on how quickly your home is ready to get on the market. Are you thinking about selling in the next 30 to 60 days? Because it only takes 30 to 60 days to close a house. They'll answer that. Perfect. That gives you a timeline. Now, have you already found your new home or do you need to buy a home first and then move? And then they answer that and that's going to tell you which direction they need to go financing wise. Can they qualify to buy without selling? Do we need to coordinate a double closing, etc., etc.? And then lastly, Mr. And Mrs. Seller, I'm going to give you an estimated net so you know exactly what your walkaway money is at closing. Do you currently have a mortgage on the property? If yes, how much is that? Okay, you're going to plug that number into the payoff. All right, what's the best email for me to shoot this valuation packet to? It's going to give you a range of comparable home sales like yours in today's market. What's the best email to send that to? Whatever they tell you on the phone, text it to them as soon as they get off the phone. And, got, and Mr. And Mrs. Seller, does this phone message get text messages? I'd like to send you a text as soon as I email over this market valuation report. They'll say yes or no. Okay, get the mobile. As soon as you get off the phone with them, text them that email address they gave you. Hey, just wanted to double check. I spelled this correctly. Is this correct? And they'll tell you yes or no. If you made a mistake, they'll tell you. I probably, I don't know, 33% of the time I write down their email wrong. So get that mobile number, text them that as soon as you get off the phone so that they, they have it. Okay. All right. Seller qualifying questions. Any questions? Let me check the comments. No questions at this time. All right, let's move on. Whoops, right there. Okay, valuation, estimated net, and the photo shoot appointment. So go through, look at comparables, put together your valuation report, put together your estimated net uh, sheet, email it to them, call them, discuss it with them, make sure it's, it's, it's what they were thinking, go over their net, and book the photo shoot. Mr. and Mrs. Seller, when would be the perfect day to come by and have the photographer shoot the home, me do my live walkthrough, me do my 360 walkthrough, and then we nail down the price for your listing. They're going to tell you, okay? The photographer is going to take a day, maybe two days to get you the photos back. Book the photo appointment and then set the price at the photo appointment, okay? Or if they already know the price, if they already say we want to start more towards the high end, Okay, perfect. You want to start at X amount of dollars with the estimated net of this. As long as we make that happen, you'll be ready to move. And they'll say, yes, perfect. I got the, what day's the best for the photo shoot? Okay. When they look at your valuation report, they're already going to pick the number. When you go to the photo shoot, you'll be able to, to in your mind, know how close you're going to get to that number. If it's far off, you'll have that conversation with them then. But they've already signed the listing docs and everything. You've already had your TC send them the listing docs before you show up for the photo shoot. Perfect, Mr. Mr. Seller, I'll get that photo shoot booked. I'm gonna have my transaction coordinator email you the listing authorization agreement. It's the Oklahoma Real Estate Commission's authorization agreement that allows my brokerage to start marketing your property for sale. Thank you so much for your business. I will get that sent over and I'm booking this photo shoot right now. Do you have any other questions that I could go over for you before I get to work on these? They'll be like, no, let's do this, okay? It's really this simple, guys. I promise you it's really this simple. This is what I do day in and day out over the last 15 years. I think I've closed, out of those 600 deals that I've personally managed to close, I think 477 of them are just listings, okay? Not making it up. All right, it's game time. You showed up to the photo shoot. You better look professional, okay? Don't, don't wear a black t-shirt that you wear when you're talking to other agents and helping them learn how to do their craft okay at least have a, a button-up shirt on i don't care what color it is i've done it green i've done it blue I've done it white get a button-up shirt okay and uh you know depending on price range in and how you feel and how you present yourself you may want to get a suit you know 
if, if the average price range for your neighborhood's a million bucks, you may not need a suit. But if a million dollars is an executive listing in your market, you may want to go get a suit. It costs 500 bucks to get a suit, men's warehouse. Okay, I, I don't I don't know if you want a $5,000 suit, but if you do, make sure you can handle it. I could do a lot of marketing with 5,000 bucks. All mine's organic, so that'd be a lot of direct mail to my sphere. Okay, photo shoot, game time. Show up professional. Show up ahead of schedule. Show up 30 minutes before the photo. Hey guys, I booked that appointment for this time. I'd like to show up 15 to 30 minutes early just to make any adjustments if needed. And it's also gonna give me some time to get used to the neighborhood. Would that be all right? They're gonna say yes. Okay, they're gonna say yes. All your photographers in your markets, they have set times, you know, like uh, for example, nine o'clock, 10.30, uh, 12 o'clock, 1.30, and three o'clock. Okay, those, those are typical photographer times. That gives them time to do their shoots and get to the next appointment, okay? So book your times around that. Show up soon, show up early, show up professional, okay? Make sure your sign is clean. Don't, don't put a dirty sign in someone's yard, okay? If, if, it's a, if it's a big commercial sign in a field, it's a little different, but don't put dirty signs in people's yards. Make that a pretty sign, because you know what? 50% of the time, they're gonna go out there, take a picture of it, and put it on their social media. And you're also gonna let them know, hey, feel free to spread the word. Uh, take a take a photo of the listing outside here. I already took one. Just let me text it to you. Feel free to share this on your social media if you want. You know, as soon as we start getting calls coming in, we'll be able to coordinate the showings. Okay. You good? You gotta go over when you first arrive. You're gonna go over, answer any questions they have. Hey guys, do you have any questions? No. Great. What time of the day is best for showings for your family and you, or you as an individual? Okay. Ask them, write it down, make a note. Okay. If they've got a newborn baby, that baby's got sleep times. You don't want to mess up the baby's sleep time. That's going to mess up the whole house's ecosystem. Okay. Find out when it's best for them to show the house. Maybe they don't want showings on the Sabbath. Maybe they celebrate seventh day Sabbath. No showings on that day. Real simple. Not a problem. We'll block it off. Hey, you know, people looking at your house after dark, they're still gonna need to come back and look at it again in the light. Do we wanna block off any showings after dark? Well, that's a great qu that's a great question, Josh. Yes, let's block off any showings after dark. Perfect, block it off, make a note, okay? This is all really logical stuff that people don't really think about. You, as the professional, as the winning listing agent, you ask good questions that, that, that they're gonna come up with, okay? Why would you show a house at, 8.30 at night in the dark. That buyer's not gonna get a real feel for it. They, they can't even see the neighborhood, what the neighborhood looks like, okay? Pay attention to that stuff. Ask good questions. All right, uh, in this market, and then go over the market, you know, right now it's a seller's market, you're gonna have, you know, 20, 30, 40 showings right away, right away. So the best thing to do is as soon as we go live, we'll get the photos back in 24 to 48 hours, as soon as we go live, just block off that whole day. Don't plan on being home. Don't plan on being home. Go out to eat, watch a movie, go bowling, go visit the in-laws, go visit your friends from church, go do something. Don't even come home, you know, and the next day prepare for the same. Okay. Be sure to set sellers expectations correctly. It makes the whole process easier. It really does. Then do your live video, then do your 360 walkthrough. Okay. That part's easy. Game time. Next step, marketing not just the MLS, okay? Don't, a lot of agents right now, they put on the MLS, they get, you know, 20, 30, 40 showings, it sells, but you still got to market it. People are hiring you based off of past accomplishments. You, as a professional listing agent, need to still market the home professionally. You still need to go render the 360 video you still need to upload the 360 video you still need to do the seo for the 360 video the live you still got to shoot the live and let people know about this amazing opportunity that way the the sellers can share that live video with other people that way the sellers can share the 360 video with other people still market your listings like you would everything okay don't don't just sit back and, and, and be a, a lazy agent. 
you got to practice your skill. Like, like Will and Eli always say, you got to hone your skill as an agent. People are hiring you based on your past experiences. Step up, show them how good you are. Showings and contracts. Okay. At, when you were doing that listing appointment, you went over the, the scheduling and when it is good for people to look at it. Okay. Give agents exclusivity to that listing. Or if you prefer to have a bunch of agents there at once, make sure they know there's going to be a bunch of agents there at once. If they're doing exclusive showings, make sure they know it's exclusive showings, but don't block off like one hour exclusive showings. Even, even if it's, you know, a 20, 30 acre property, you can get in there, look at the house, look at the acreage in 30 minutes. You really can. So, so 30 minutes at the most, if it's, you know, a smaller home in, in a neighborhood with smaller lots, you know, maybe 15 minutes that that's hard, but maybe, I don't know. But if you're doing open listings, give them more time, you know, they're going to be there with other people, you know, give them an hour or whatever, but it's, if it's exclusive, give them about 30 minutes to look. Okay. And give a buffer, give a buffer. So they're not running on top of each other. Manage those showings with the showing agents. If an agent texts you and they're like, Hey, um, it's already booked out. Is there any way we can get in? You know, be respectful. Hey, yeah, go ahead and show. Just don't step on other people's times. Be respectful of other agents. Okay. It's a crazy market out there. You know, talk about the showings with the other agents. Talk about the showings with the sellers. Contracts. If you know you're going to get multiple offers, which a lot of us are getting multiple offers right now on our listings, prep the seller for that. Hey guys, I'm going to make a Google sheet and I've done a whole video on how to make Google sheets before I believe. Uh, check it out in my uh, listings, how to win with listings training or whichever playlist that is. So sorry, but make that Google sheet as, and let the seller know, Hey, as soon as I get an offer, I'm going to send it to you immediately. I'm going to say, Hey, here's an offer. I haven't had a chance to review it yet, but I wanted to get this presented to you immediately. That way you have it. So go ahead and read through it. Ask me any questions that you have. And then I'm going to update the Google sheet with it. That way you can compare each offer side by side by side by side. Okay. Later this e evening or as soon as I get off this appointment. Okay. Always get that offer off your plate. You don't want offers on your plate as a listing agent. Get it to the sellers and say, Hey, I haven't had a chance to review it yet, but as soon as I do, I'm going to update the Google sheet with it. Okay. And send me any questions that you have on this offer. That way I can get those answered for you. It's that simple guys. It's that simple. This isn't rocket science. Okay. If I could do listings, you could do listings too. Inspections, financing, and title. Okay. So you pick the winning offer. Yay. Seller got what they wanted. Now we got to get through inspections, the financing, and the title. Okay. Things come up. Prep the seller. Hey, no matter what we agree to in that contract, everything's still negotiable. Okay. Unless you have the most ironclad as is contract, which you need an attorney's consultation on to have something like that. Everything's negotiable. So make sure the seller knows no matter what we agree to, we still got to get through inspections. We still got to get through financing. We still got to get through title to be able to close. Okay. If they're moving out of state, don't let them move all their belongings yet, or at least tell them, Hey, I can't recommend moving all your belongings yet till we're through inspections, financing, and title. Anything that comes up in these that cannot be negotiated, the process starts over. Okay. Make sure they know that be upfront with your sellers. Say, our goal is to get through this now. Here's what we do to get through it. It's real simple. But until we're through these steps, there's no guarantee of closing. There's no guarantee of closing. So if you're moving out of state and you're moving half your belongings out of state and we're still in inspections, financing, title, that's your call, not mine as a listing agent. I got to get you through here. Okay, simple, simple. Give it a thumbs up. If you're enjoying this video, if you're finding value from this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell if you enjoy these videos. Yeah, I put out content like this to help agents. I want you to succeed. I want you to win. Okay. I don't, I I've been, like I said, I've been at a small brokerage, a large independent brokerage. I've had my own office and I've been at a rheology franchise and you know, I'm at eXp Realty. Okay. Total mind shift change, total mind shift change. I want you to win. I want you to win. Okay. So the buyers did their inspections, the financing, appraisals done, et cetera, et cetera. The title shows up. So repairs, if any, and walkthroughs. Okay. The seller, at least in Oklahoma, still has the obligation to the buyer of a repair walkthrough and a final walkthrough. 
okay? Prepare walkthrough and final walkthrough. Those are important. Make sure the seller's aware of that. This is this is the real estate commission's contract. It's not it's not Josh's contract. It's the real estate commission's contract made by attorneys who've been on the bar forever and practice real estate law, uh, made by, you know, 30, 40 year old brokers that they're 30 or 40 year old brokers. I don't know how to explain it more than that. Uh, I laughed so hard that a little bit of snot came out. Sorry about that. Uh, hopefully my camera's quality is so low that you didn't notice that. Repairs, if any, walkthroughs, okay? Let them have their walkthroughs. It's in the contract. Don't stop a buyer from falling in love with their house. Let them fall in love with their house. That's what they do on these walkthroughs. They're measuring stuff. They're falling in love with it. As a seller and as a listing agent, you're providing a product to a consumer, which is a buyer. Make sure that seller is on, on board with making sure the buyer falls in love with that house. As long as the seller's on board and understands their role in the process of selling their home, it's going to go easy. If they don't, it's your fault because you're the listing agent and you didn't prep them right. You control the preparation. You're the listing agent. You're the professional who's getting paid a ton of money to make sure this deal goes through. That's your job. Prep the seller. Repairs. Get them done. If they if they're a bunch of repairs and there's a short timeline to closing, negotiate something else. Negotiate something else. Okay. All right. Final clean and closing. This is super super important because you're not closed until that buyer's funds are in the seller's account. Okay. The the closing's not over. When that seller moves out, they need to do at least a broom clean at least a broom clean don't and this is part of the preparation this is part of you being a great listing agent hey mr and mrs seller you know it's always advisable to do at least a broom and vacuum cleaning after you get everything moved out when you move that furniture you'll find dust bunnies you can find cheerios you're gonna find fruit of looms you're gonna find you're gonna find things when you move all that furniture out you know do a final vacuum do a broom sweep you know, do a little final clean, do a little bit, do a little bit. And Mr. Business Seller, if you don't have time, if you're moving out of state, I've got people, I've got people that other customers have been happy with on the final cleans that I could give you and text that to them. Don't, don't wait, text it to them immediately. Say, do you want this? No, don't say, do you want this? I've got people, I'm going to text them to you. Send it to them. You're the listing agent. You're the coach. You're the quarterback. You're the team leader. You make things happen. You don't ask permission. You make it happen. They already gave you their permission when they called you asking about selling their home. That's when they put the ball in your court. And you as a strong listing agent, you took that ball and you said, we're going to win. Here's the game plan. That's what you did. Okay? That's it. In less than 30 minutes, in less than 30 minutes, I showed you how to be an amazing listing agent. I showed you how to take how to go find a listing, how to take that initial phone call, how to do the photo shoot, how to set up showings, how to negotiate contracts. I showed you the general overview, the intro on listings. Okay. In future videos, I'll go deep on each section and that'll be applied to the listing playlist that I'll put together. But in 30 minutes, you just figured it out. You ask the right questions, you do the right actions and you close the transaction. Ask the right questions, do the right actions, close the transaction. I put that together and I didn't even realize that it was so good. That's such a great line right there. All right, folks, why did I do this for you? Because I want to ask you a serious question. I, I really want to ask you a serious question. I put these videos out there because I want you to succeed. And, and to do that, I've got to ask these follow-up questions. Are you set up for success where you are? Are you set up for success where you are? EXP Realty is an agent focused brokerage. You go watch Glenn Stanford, go watch his interviews, go watch his podcast. He is all about what makes EXP Realty better for the agent. He knows that if the agents have a high quality of life, their service will be high quality. Look at the numbers. Look at how fast EXP is growing. It makes sense. I want to ask you, do you have business and agent to agent support where you're currently at there's your real estate business and your 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 discussions with your co-workers do they support you do they there's 600 staff 
at eXp working just for the agents. We have workplace and workplace chat. We're a cloud-based brokerage, but at any second, I could be on workplace or workplace chat and be talking to my coworkers, talking to my broker, talking to the staff. I can go to eXp World, sit down with the county. I can go to eXp World, sit down with agent onboard. I can go to eXp World and sit down with technical support. They'll go into my computer and fix it for me. These are serious questions that I want to ask you. Okay. Do you feel like you're able to get your broker questions answered? When you reach out to your broker, I've been at a small brokerage. I've been at a large independent brokerage. I've had my own brokerage. I've been at a rheology branch office. Okay. When you ask a broker type question, do you get it answered? At eXp Realty, most states have more than two brokers in them helping out. You know, I think they're even looking to possibly get another broker here in Oklahoma because we're getting so big. Okay. What, how quickly do you think you get an answer if you got three brokers? Serious questions for your business. These are serious questions. Do you feel like you have the back office support that you need for your business? Do you feel like you have transaction coordinators? Do you feel like you have just staff members just focused on the state of Oklahoma and the state of Oklahoma's agents transactions? Do you feel like that? I've been at brokerages. I know there's maybe one or two ladies or men or, or helpers behind the front desk. That's it. And when they're not in the office, they're not in the office. HP Realty is international folks. It's international. There's people always at tech support, people always at accounting. I sometimes go in there at two o'clock at night because I got little kiddos at home. I'm working on a project like this and I need some technical support or something. I go in there at two o'clock at night. There's people there to help me. I'm serious. I'm serious, folks. Okay. Do you feel like you have sales and leadership training? Do you feel like you have people like me giving you training like this at your current office? Ask yourself. These are serious questions to ask yourself about your real estate business. Do you feel like you have a path to retirement? I know you've heard the saying, real estate agents work until they die. Is that really a high quality of life? Is that really something that you want to do? I've been in this business 15 years, folks, 15 years. In most industries, I'd be, you know, five or 15 years away from retirement easily. Okay. As a real estate agent, do you think that's possible? It is. It is at eXp Realty. It truly is. Each agent gets what they put out of, gets out of it what they put into it. They really do. Also, do you feel, this is a big pain point for a lot of people. I know I've experienced it. Do you feel like your cap is constantly changing or you don't even have a cap? I've paid other offices a lot of money. I had my own brokerage. You know, I, I've, I've always tried to treat agents fairly. I've never, I've never had such a fair split, such a straightforward in writing. It's the same for everyone type split as I do here at eXp Realty. Okay. These are serious questions to ask you about your own business. I've taken up three more minutes of your time, uh, three more minutes that you probably weren't expecting, but these are serious questions that I have to ask you because they're serious questions that made me realize that I wasn't at the right place. I've been at little bitty small mom and pop brokerages. I've been at large independent brokerages, had my own brokerage. I've been in a rheology branch before. Okay. I never felt the same feelings that I felt here at eXp Realty and the, 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 the support, the expansion opportunities, the ways to retire, never felt that before until I got here. Okay. So if you are watching all my videos and you are at that point where you're like, maybe, maybe Josh is onto something. Maybe Josh is right. It's real easy to join eXp Realty. Go to josh.exprealty.careers. Go there. Up at the top right, there's join exp realty. Complete it. Complete that. Josh Bardet, try in Oklahoma, 405 315 7965. Rewind this. If you need that information, you'll need it for the sponsorship. Complete your ICA. Okay. Completing your ICA doesn't do anything except start your application. That's all it does. It doesn't move your license. It doesn't change anything with the state with your license. It doesn't change anything with MLS. It's simply you agreeing to the independent contractor agreement and eXp Realty reviewing your application. Okay. 
They want good agents at eXp Realty. They want new agents. They want agents that don't get in trouble, basically. They want to make sure that you're a good fit for the company because it is a publicly traded company. It's very important to have good agents there. We got to, we got to do that. So they're going to review your application and you'll get an email where you are accepted or I've never heard of it, but you, you would get an email where you're not accepted, but um, you know, you're going for the accepted. I was a little worried. I was a little worried, you know, uh, but they accepted me. They did. So if you're a broker owner or a team leader, it's totally different. Do not go there and complete that. I want you to reach out to me 405-305-7965 or book a Zoom call down below. We need to do your letter of intent. We need to get you a guest pass so we can go get with onboarding and start putting together your transition from your brokerage or from or your team. We need to put all that together in a different way. If you're a power agent who's out there just killing it or a new agent, you go to that first step, complete the ICA, and it's gonna move, it's gonna get everything started. You'll get the approval email and that and that'll show us the next steps. But if you're a broker owner or team leader, call, text, or email me. We gotta go it a separate way. Okay. Now, when you're ready and after being approved, we move your license, we update the local board, and we update the MLS that you're at eXp Realty. Okay. You're also going to get two to three other emails when, when these steps happen. Okay. And we're going to take it slow. We're going to work our way through those emails together. You can call me. We can do zoom call. We can do Google meet. We'll work our way through those emails. And we'll get everything set up. We're going to make sure we order your cards, order your folders, order your signs and get you plugged into the system. We're going to take it nice and slow because eXp Realty, it's a cloud-based brokerage. Okay. All this is going to happen via email and via the eXp world. Okay. It's, it's doable. Over 78,000 agents have done it more than that because we're currently at 78,000 agents because we have had some people change direction. So if they could do it, if I could do it, you could do it, especially when I'm helping you. All right. That's how you join eXp Realty. Take it slow. It's going to be like a fire hose coming at you at first, but we're going to take it slow and we're going to make it happen, guys. Thanks so much for watching today's video. Like I said earlier, give it a like, give it a thumbs up. You know, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my other videos on how to be successful real estate agents and why EXP Realty is the right choice for you. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next video. Let me do a thumbnail shot real quick.